It's the communion of the body of Christ. Oh, this is the holy meal. It is the meal of God. Oh, it will sustain you. It will make you whole. It will give you life. Hallelujah. Now, how many realize that you are understanding more what is communion? than before. Do you see that when you understand something better, you can do it better? Isn't it? Because if it's just a ritual, then at least maybe once a year or once every five years it's okay. But Jesus said my flesh is meat. How often do you eat meat? Once a year? Once every five years? How often do you drink? You drink once every five years. No. So, you see, it's a meat. When we say meat, I mean, and when you say a drink, malarex syrup, paracetamol syrup, cough syrup, these are all drinks indeed. Vitamin C, drink. These are all medicines that cut off diseases and fight sicknesses. And Jesus is saying, my blood is also a drink indeed. Or in can, indeed is wadenche. <laughs> it's a drink indeed. And then my flesh is meat like something that you eat and when you eat it you get well that's why they say eat vegetables they say tomatoes has this you see tomato you eat you think it, it has it's nothing but tomatoes has lycopene which is very good for prostate yeah especially the preserved one you think it's, it's just food you are eating you, you'll be eating things, garlic. It's all good for whatever. You just you are just seasoning your food, but it's like the the thing is working on your heart. Even wine, it has something called resveratrol. When they drink it, it it, it that's why in France they, they don't have how much heart attack heart attacks because it's something in wine. Yes, the red wine. It's called resveratrol. That's what is in the wine. That's why they don't have the heart attacks in France. Fish, meat, salmon with omega-3. Omega-3. That's what seals in Alaska. They don't have heart attacks also. Alaska. They're all up there because they eat the seals. They're full of omega-3. So when Jesus said, my flesh is also a kind of meat. Indeed, or in God, what danger? Or in tree, how do you say in tree? Pa. And anyway, how do you say it in anyway? Pa, pa, pa. A tree is what? Pa, pa. Pa, pa, pa. In tree. Anyway, I don't know what's the anyway one. Georgia. Donjon. Tonton. 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 It's, it's a meat tonton. <laughs> so right now, uh, listen, are you watching everybody? You are about to bite something that is good for you. And you are about to drink something that is good for you. And what are you about to drink? You are about to bite the body of Jesus Christ. So all of us who are doing exam, the brains of Jesus Christ, you are going to have a brain transplant. Brain, brain transplant. And then those of you whose character and personalities are not good, you are going to have a personality implant. Hey! And then you are going to drink something. What are you going to drink? The blood of Jesus. That means, do you think Jesus had anemia? No, I'm asking you a personal question. Do you think Jesus had anemia? 
Do you think he had leukemia? Do you think he had uh, uh, what? Sickle cell? No! Uh, what other blood dyscrasia? Hemophilia! Yeah, one day I, I was praying for a lady. She came bleeding all over her inside. All these. Do you think Jesus' blood is carrying viruses? Hepatitis B virus? Is carrying HIV virus? Is carrying uh, what? Viruses. You see, an art student has mentioned tuberculosis. Look, after church, you'll be pondered. It's very serious. virus. Today as you take the blood, eh, I say I'm talking about drinking something powerful. As you take this blood, it's, it's a drink. It's more than malarex syrup. It's more than cough mixture. It is the blood of Jesus. Stand to your feet. We declare this to be the body of Jesus. We thank you for what you've done for us on the cross. Thank you for healing. Thank you for healing in our bodies. In our minds. Every part of us. As we receive your body, we receive a transplant of your body into our body. We receive healing across the world everyone watching. Thanks for your power that comes into us through your body. You said my flesh is really meat. It's a real meal. We receive of this great meal today and we thank you for healing us. The body of Jesus Christ. drink is coming into you. This drink will wash your sins away. This drink will neutralize every poison in you. Father, thank you. We declare this to be the blood of your son, Jesus. Let power flow into this. And heal all our diseases, our pains, our weaknesses. Cancel every diagnosis. Cancel every poison. In Jesus' name, let the curse of the enemy be neutralized. We receive healing in our breasts, in our bodies, in our bones, our livers, our kidneys, our intestines, pancreas, Lord, brains, Lord, muscles, blood vessels, tissues, from head to toe, our hair, every part of us, our organs, Lord, our sexual organs we receive healing by the blood, by the body of Jesus Christ. We declare neutralization of all forms of pains and curses and diseases and sicknesses in the mighty name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus Christ. Lift your hand and receive your blessing. May the blessing of the Lord follow you. Receive it. Like when a dog has rabies and is chasing his victim. May the blessing of God follow you. Receive it. Like when a cheetah is following its prey. Yes. May the blessing of God follow you. Receive it. As when a lion is chasing and hunting yes. after its prey. May you be caught by the blessings of God. May the blessings overtake you and catch you 
I prophesy blessings are chasing you now. And I prophesy that the blessing will catch you now. Two weeks from now, you will see the blessing of the Lord having caught up with you. I declare it to come to pass in Jesus' name. Now, as the blessing of God follows you, whatever you are following and chasing after, you are receiving divine speed to catch it. Let the power of God come into your legs, to your bones, to your body, into your speed. Catch up now in the name of Jesus. I say catch up now in the name of Jesus. I say catch up now in the name of Jesus. Whatever looks far from you, I declare that you are caught up with it now in Jesus' name. Hold your hand like this. Father, thank you that our hands have laid hold on what we couldn't lay hold on yes. before. Whatever was elusive, dodging, escaping, we declare we have caught it. Receive the ability to catch what you are chasing now in the name of Jesus. Receive a child, receive a pregnancy, receive a healing, receive the prosperity, receive whatever blessing, receive the anointing, receive the power of God on your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Now lay your hands on your belly. Out of this belly shall flow rivers of living water. I declare that your, your belly shall bring forth rivers of living water and you shall be a blessing to somebody and to many people. Receive the grace of God to be a blessing to somebody in this life. Now receive the anointing. God is anointing you to be a blessing. Salvation, healing, deliverance, good news, restoration for somebody. Receive the covering, the anointing, the grace to be a blessing to somebody. In Jesus name. Instead of Longing for someone to be a blessing to you. God has empowered you to be a blessing to someone. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Lay hands on your mouth. Father, our words shall bring us promotion this week. Our conversations shall give us a blessing this week. Our tongues shall lead to our increase and our rise this week. And out of our mouth shall flow words of grace and beauty. Words that will achieve and accomplish great things in the spirit and in the natural. We thank you for anointing our mouths. For you said death and life are in the power of the tongue. We declare that our mouths shall speak life this week. We give you thanks in the mighty name of Jesus. Now lift your hand and thank God that it shall come to pass practically. In Jesus mighty name. Amen and amen and amen. God bless you. You may be seated.